This is an HP server, small business uh, edition or Windows Server Essentials, Windows calls it now. Uh, this is just a basic file server, it does not have any email uh, capabilities. It, it is an ML310 Gen 8 system. Uh, this is going into a small customer uh, excavating company and this will run their application that they keep track of all their jobs in and it will also provide a s single spot for backup and for and for remote connectivity and this came with an OEM version uh, this came with an OEM version of server 2012 essentials basic HP keyboard nothing fancy HP ML310, it's a gen, one of the new Gen 8 uh, servers that HP's put out. Small business server essentials on this, we've got four USB ports in the front. Um, we've got an ID, it'll make a LED flash in the back so you can identify it if it's in a rack. Uh, this particular one came with a DVD RW built into it. Uh, this comes with an OEM version of the operating system, which is kind of nice, you got the whole thing right in the box. And on the back of the system we've got our Four more USB ports. We've got our uh, two Ethernet connections on here, the VGA and serial port. Uh, this is just a single power supply in this machine. Four expansion slots on this one. And then you can lock this system if you so desire. We sourced this system through Insight. The system only came with four gigs of RAM installed. Four gigs of RAM is just not enough, in my opinion, for anything that's running server, anything running pretty much anything anymore. I want to see at least 8 gigs of RAM in any system I'm dealing with. So we went ahead and ordered another 4 gigs of RAM. I'm going to pop that in right now. System comes locked, so you've got to unlock this first. And with most of the new HPs, uh, there's a lot of venting. It just lifts right out. You can put the memory in there with that. That's kind of in the way. You want to stay grounded to the system when you're opening your memory up and when you put that in there. You want to stay grounded at all times. Inside the system there are two black and two white channels for your memory. Uh, the first stick came in the white channel. So there's a close-up of the memory. We've got the uh, stick that came with the OS in here. We've got a black channel, white channel, black channel, white channel. And that second stick is going to go right into that white channel. So I'm going to add this one to the white the other white channel so we can uh, do hyper threading. Put our venting back in. You can see this, but the, the keys are kind of a hassle on these. It doesn't come out unless you lock the system again. So you've got to keep track of your keys, unless you want to get in there and break the latch. System has two 500 gig drives in it. We'll mirror those. Get the drives right through the front. The front of this opens up. It is sort of hinged, but as you can see, it kind of comes off there. Uh, these are not hot pluggable drives, but I believe it's pretty easy. The drives just slide in and out. And bays one and two in this in this array have drives in them too. That's really all there is to these systems. There's not much to them. They're, they're a nice little small business server. Uh, it's got a Xeon processor. Uh, comes with four gigs of RAM. It's got server 2012 essentials on it, which is gonna do your basic authentication, uh, Active Directory. You can run terminal services on this if you so decide later on. And don't quote me on it. I think, that the user, I think the user limitation is around 15 users on these. So we got this little guy booted up.
the system is coming up nicely. Anyway, that's it. HP ProLiant ML310E Gen 8 server. Nice little machine. Thanks for watching.